I'm Talia Gruber. I'm here at Sandy Beach Park to see the kites. Hey guys, I'm here with Art Roth, who designed this kite up above us. Can you tell me a little bit about this kite right here? This is supposed to be advertising for the Olympics. So how long have you been coming out to Hawaii? Uh, this year is our 36th time. Wow. Yeah, we came in the 70s already. So how did you go about creating this? Well, th this is our design for the Olympics. Uh -huh. the, the five color, the five rings. Uh -huh. And that above that was an, a native Indian. He designed this for the Olympics. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so how do you build the kite though? I mean, it looks like a lot of work goes into it. Oh yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a winter job. It takes about four or five months to make the kite, you know. Nice, and how big is this? This one is uh, just a little under 300 square feet. It's uh, 15 feet wide and 18 feet long. Wow. Yeah, almost 300 square feet. Now I'm here at Sandy Beach and behind me is the famous blow, blow hole. Sandy Beach is also known for the big and dangerous shore breaks. So let's take a look over here where you have it tied, tied yeah. down. Can you tell me a this little is bit a, about... This is a kite anchor. Kite anchor? Mm -hmm. It's just some steel pins hammered into the ground and then you tie your, your flying line to it and that's all. You know? Okay. Yeah. So have you ever had any trouble with tying it down? Have you ever lost a well, kite? Yeah, one, one kite came, uh, uh, pulled it right out of the ground. <laughs> Pulled the anchor right out of the ground and went all the way down the field. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh -oh. And I hear a story about maybe losing a truck? No. No? No. No, I didn't lose a truck. I flipped over a car. The car was not supposed to be on the field. I drove on the field, the kite was laying down and the car was over, over the flying line. And when the, when the kite picked up by itself, it flipped the car over. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that is not, not kite like this. I have one which is 2,000 square feet. Wow. It's a real big one that you gotta, you know, that, that pulls a lot. Yeah, so these are maybe kind of dangerous then. Yeah, you gotta know what you're doing. As you can see on the sign, it says it's dangerous to, so, to go swimming, so you should always check with the lifeguards. So what's the biggest kite that you've ever made? Uh, it's called the Red Baron and it's 2,000 square feet. I still have that at home. Uh-huh. That was made in 1984. That's incredible. Old, old kite already. There you yeah. go. So, how thick is this line? Does it have to be pretty thick to keep it up? No, uh, I could use, I don't have to use a line like this, but uh, it's better to have a thicker line because if you pull, if you have a thin line, it cuts in your hands, you see. Oh, okay. And this one doesn't. Every year, President Obama comes here to pay his, his respects to his mother, whose ashes are, are in the sea down there in the shore coast, coast. Today is a very small day, but still very dangerous. Life courts have to, have to call the ambulance three or four times a year to deal with serious back and neck injuries. What's the best kind of wind? At home in our park, the westerly wind is the best. It comes right off the ocean. Easterly wind comes over the buildings and the city and the trees and everything, and, and it's a bumpy wind. And I think Capilano Park has the same problem. The trade wind, which is mostly there, comes over Diamond Head when it's a bumpy wind. Yeah. Are you guys using boogie boards instead of sliding boards? Instead of sliding boards, I don't know. It's better. We don't own one. I see you have quite a few pins on your hat. Have yeah. you been collecting pins for a while? I have, but not lately anymore. 
Not lately? No. Mm. I, I got about, uh, all together I have over 2,000 pins. Wow. And we used to have some, uh, uh, you know, at kite festivals coming together and everybody shows his pins, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, people sort of don't, not, not too great and too much interested anymore. This is actually a, a, a pin for an uh, Olympic pin. It's not, it's not a kite pin. But this is our, com our, our, our logo. Our, our club pin, British Columbia Kite Association. And this is a Russian pin. Yeah. So do you have one pin in particular that's your favorite? Uh, I, not really. And uh, when we come all together with our pins, we're exchanging pins. We have trade pins and some that you collect. So you trade with other people what you don't have, you know. Yeah, so. They used to have problems with graffiti, but ever since they put the, ever since they painted the picture of the Duke, there hasn't been um, such a big problem. The Duke is the father of surfing. Tell me all the countries you visited and the festivals. I think festivals the year to? 2000, I went three times to Europe. I went to Hong Kong. I went to Japan and to uh, Bangkok, Thailand in the year 2000. And I loved uh, uh, Japan the most. They have uh, during beginning of, uh, end of April, beginning of May, they have a cherry blossom festival. It's an ever beautiful one. Yeah. Yeah. It's an, a national holiday for the whole week. Nobody goes to work for the whole week. <laughs> and it's, it's just a jungle of cherry trees. And when they're blooming, it's just beautiful. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, this is in Tokyo. I haven't been to Australia. And Russia, I haven't been either. We had Russian kite flyers, but I would like to see uh, Moscow. <laughs> How often do you guys come here? This is my first time. <laughs> Every so often. Not all the time. Whenever we can. Because it's far. I'm Kobehi. I'm Randy. Gary Lynn. Hazel. Gavin. Yes, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> we live all the way in Waianae. And we have school. <laughs> Class of 010. Whoop whoop. Waianae. <laughs> what do you guys do when you come here? Swim, swim, tan, body surf, <laughs> boogie board. Um, I like to body board, body surf. Life scores have specialized rescue equipment to yeah, equipment like jet skis, body boards, and other stuff. You leaving? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to flip the kite over. Hey, <coughs> I'm going to put it in here. It's starting to rain a little bit. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 